Hello Lilith, but welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you'd like to be a Chatterbox member, you can join by clicking the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join, and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. So um, today I am going to share some good news, some positive news on my personal side, and then I'm going to get Charlotte changed. Um, so I got to be a part of my first grandson um, birth. And I got to cut the first umbilical cord that I ever cut before. And um, so I, I, I was able to cut his umbilical cord. <laughs> and it was really amazing. And um, so he's here. He's healthy. Um, and so it's, it's very exciting. Um, so they are here with me for the next few weeks just you know, it's first, her first baby, so want to, you know, be here to help her through the first moments, you know. There's a lot of questions, you know, babies don't come with instructions. But anyway, so, yeah, so it's been a very emotional um, week for me, you know, as you guys know. And I'm trying, I'm, I promise to try not to be um, so emotional. Um, I just kept trying to get a video or you know say something and it, every time I talked about it, it was gonna be and it just was gonna be that way it just made no sense to just keep re-recording so anyway um but yeah so um I um my grandson was born one day and then the next day you know that's when you know we we as a community we as a whole and of course her family lost Linda so it was like one angel came in and one angel went out type type scenario but anyway so I'm gonna do what I think like everybody else is saying she was just upbeat and so we should try to you know do what we do so Charlotte is the Alexis sculpt um, by Cassie Brace and she was painted by me and um, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I really, really love her. I love her skin tone and everything about her. Um, I was, you know, nervous because I don't paint um, this skin tone as often. But it's actually, like, to me, I think one of my favorite babies. So, I'm going to try to put her on this outfit. I don't know if she's going to fit it because it's kind of big. But I'm going to try anyway. Um, I hate covering her up. That's why she's the only baby. She's the, like one of the only babies that's in here. Like kind of summery. <laughs> but you know. It is what it is. And she is. She she will be rooted. Um, she's going to get red hair. You guys can't see. But she does have red eyelashes now. So she's going to be a ginger girl. So. Um. I'm definitely going to see that through because I just love her. And I actually haven't really been putting her with a, a binky, but I put her with a binky and I really I liked her with the binky. Yeah. Um this kit is like one of my favorite kits. I want to paint another one. Um I love the size. I think I love the size. I love the full lips. I love that they can take a modified pacifier. There's just a lot of little things that I love about the kit. I love the hands. I love the feet. So I, I really love the entire sculpt, you know. So I'm really, really excited to um, paint them in different skin tones. And, you know, I'll probably, I have two now. And I'll probably have one more and then I'll be done. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. I knew. I bought another scope. I probably will paint it to sale. I bought Lanny. I think I'm going to paint that one to sale. And I'm going to replace it with another Alexis. I was going to um, do my uh, Lanny. 
Um, another thing that something that seemed like me and um, Linda would do is we end up having like matching kits. Like I have uh, Piper, she has the twin to Piper. And um, I have the prototype Aspen, she has the prototype Abby. So <laughs> it's like, it almost felt like it was a, I paint one for you, paint one for me type thing. But anyway, um, just a sidebar. But um, yeah, but I have, uh, I'm gonna have another Piper here shortly that I'll be able to share with you guys. I might be a little while, but I'm a little, a little behind schedule, but not too much. Um, that I'll be able to share that I'm, I'm painting. So I'm excited about that baby. So I'll have another sis in the community to match with, <laughs> matching our babies. Um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of fun sometimes when we have like the same same sculpts, um, different looks, you know, different, you know, dress styles or different uh, personalities we give the babies. It's just fun. That part is fun. Um, yeah. So, you know, I actually had an opportunity to, um, chat with someone the other night i'm not gonna say who and all that stuff but i just want to say this that sometime um when we have you know a loss in the community and stuff it it reminds us how you know short life can be and how you know tomorrow is never promised and sometime it can bring you closer to people and i spent <laughs> quite a bit of time talking um, um, on the phone with uh, with another sis in the community just because you know we shared you know a mutual friend and you know it was just you know our way of like you know just getting through that moment she was just finding out and she was super she was close to Linda as well and so it was really nice and I really really enjoyed the conversation and it's just like you know you know it doesn't make it you know less sad but it does you know at least you know it's like I don't know, something, something, something positive happened, you know, right? I don't know. We just have to, you know, try to think, you know, everything is a lesson. Everything, you know, it's, it, you can take something from everything. And I, I just feel like, you know, it just, it's just reminds me that, you know, I, I, I can't, uh, I can be so closed off and stuff and you know I have to enjoy life you know um, yeah so that is that and this I mean she did actually fit this this is three to six month um, clothes and I, guys when I tell you like I dress her and it, it's just, I don't know. Like, that band don't really match, though. I, I mean, it match, but I don't like it. It's not the right style, I should say. But I'm going to get a headband. But I don't know. But certain babies, I, I'm sure some of you guys understand this. Certain babies just really, really, like, pulls your heartstrings. And it's like, you, you don't, like, really know what exactly it is that makes them so special like she was laying on the uh, like a little baby boppy type thing on the floor and I was just like just looking at her and just like man I love her so much and it just made me smile so much and stuff and so that that's 
you know, that's something that don't always happen. So it's like, yeah. So when I need to sell a baby or something, like, I, I, if I think of her, it's like, I can't do it. So I think that her and Memphis for sure will stay in my collection. For sure. I, I, I really think they will because they it's something about them that's just magical for me and um i'm one of those people that i love everything at first and then i lose interest and then or i i get my eyes get caught on something else so when a baby actually catches my interest and i can get new babies in and they don't lose their thunder then that means for me that's that's a winner um i got in uh nevada and still charlotte still like made my heart like beat and um yeah so i know that um linda really wanted to see her wear her red hair too I can't wait. So she's going to get her red hair. I hope that I still bond with her after she gets her hair. So I, I mean, I'm very careful on what type of hair I get with her. And I don't know, guys, what do you guys think? Should I get a curly hair or a more straight hair or a little bit slight wave? Like, um, what do you guys think? But I, and then I probably, I want to make sure it's a good blend of reds like in her her hair i don't want it to be like orangey red so i don't know but i want her to have a really natural red color that's that's the uh maybe a strawberry well not strawberry blonde but you know what i mean i don't know i just maybe a couple blends but i don't know so let me know what you guys think should i do a curly you know curly mop of hair or you know just a nice very nice rooted straight hair or wavy hair that's gonna be the thing now she still doesn't have her eyebrows so that probably kind of makes her a little incomplete i'm gonna actually work on that probably next week i'm gonna go ahead and build up my nerves to take her apart so that i can or just you know take her hair off and um go ahead and and do her eyebrows and um but i was well i can't do them when she gets back we're here so i don't know yeah i'm gonna just do them and i don't think i don't i don't know like i'm gonna have to look and see like most babies with red hair normally have like reddish eyebrows so i don't know i'm gonna see but i i'll i'll figure it out that's why i didn't do them because i wasn't sure on what color exactly to do with her eyebrows so i don't want to throw her off so it looks like she has eyebrows there but she doesn't but i so yeah anyway i may i may just say no eyebrows but i doubt it i'll i'll give her eyebrows I just got to put color next to it and see what goes. But anyway, so that's that. So I will try to take some photos of her and maybe post on Instagram. I hope everybody is well and being safe. Remember, you know, the season is changing. So make sure you're, you know, drinking your lemon water and your elderberry and your vitamins and all that great jazz and, you know, just taking good care of yourself and um yeah and make sure that you um treat every person like it's the last time you're gonna see them because you never know that's that's what i think that's what i take from that and if you have someone that you have you know, said some things that you feel like you could have did it differently, you could have said it differently, or you were wrong, you know, go ahead and apologize, make good with that, and make peace with that. And even if you 
just apologize and move on at least you know do that um and you know this is you know a wake-up call for us you know to just be a better us and love 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 like you know love like i said like like there's no tomorrow make sure everybody that you love know that you love them everybody that you appreciate know that you appreciate them let them know it it doesn't hurt to let people know um that you care you know what i mean so that is it and then i'm sorry for being like all extra but yeah that's the way i feel right now so see you guys later bye bye